Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello and welcome back. So I hope you're ready for another weekend of uh, botanical projects. There will be three videos today and three videos tomorrow. And <coughs> um, then I'll have enough pieces to make my um, botanical journal what I want to make. So today's is going to be vellum envelopes and I've just folded them in half um, <coughs> lengthways and I'm just going to cut them in half. Now I've got two sorts here, um, th this one was sent to me um, in Happy Mail and this is letter size so it's American um, size <coughs> so the envelopes will be different sizes but that's fine. So the envelope's going to be that size. Um, so what will that make them? That make them about five and a half wide, and my journal will be about just over five and a half. I might cut them down uh, to five actually. So let's let's do that. Yep before we start because I'm making these envelopes so they lay across ways so let's get them all oh, I to go that way so I'm just going to make sure that they're all straight-ish might be a little bit hard to get them totally straight but Yeah, I'm not going to be able to cut that many. Right, I'm going to do small handfuls at a time. Let's do those because they're all the same size. Right, so five. Oh, come on. And that's it. Oh, what am I doing? Right, I forget to hold on to that bar. I'm terrible. A lot of the times I don't need to, and I think that's why I don't. But then sometimes um, it cocks up, and I think, oh, I should have been holding the, the bar. But yeah, because I don't have to all the time. I think I'm just don't, not in the habit of. Right. So they're all five. Um, let's do these. So yeah, they've started off five, five wide and about eight and a half high. So that's those cut down. Then I've got just two pieces of the uh, botanical book that I'm using. So I'm using uh, the concise book of Flora, which is by Martin Kimball. Um, it is in my Amazon favourites list under books I use. Um, they're a bit expensive at the moment. Um, it is it is a more expensive book anyway, but it's really expensive at the moment. So um, I wouldn't be buying one at the moment. But do keep looking out because I think by the time I've done this um, project, I'll have probably run out. So I'm just thinking how big I'm going to go up because I want to know how big my flap is going to be. So if I kind of go up at three and a half and then, no, I want it wider than that. So I probably want to go up at three. Right. Once I get the first one done, I can just um, match match them up. So that's not three, is it? Yeah, it is ish. So I've gone up at three, which means this bit is three. 
so I'd want to go down about so the lock about two. Like so. So my flap is two two inches. I think I'm gonna do them all on the scoreboard, but that was just to get <coughs> get a rough idea. So I want these at um let's try one and a quarter. So I'm going to cut some strips. I think I might want them one and a half. Okay, that might be better. Right, so cut these out one and a half. What's this? Okay. Small pieces are very difficult to cut on big trimmers. So that's one and a half. So that's four. And I'm going to want eight. So another one and a half. And one more. a little bit more difficult because I'm doing two at a time. Yep, let's move it a little bit, but that's, that's fine. Right, so I've got eight strips at one and a half ish. So I don't want them. I can put the trimmer back for now. Oh no, I don't think I need it again anyway. And I wonder if I can do it on the small scoreboard. So if I want to go three, and then I want to go two. So that would go like that, and that would go like that. Yeah, that's perfect from it doesn't look straight <laughs> why doesn't it look straight yeah it should be hmm. it's ish Right, so three, two, three, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this is three and two, 
plate. That's those. I'm going to score these ones while I've got them out and I want to go three and a half. One and a half. Let's just have a, have a look at that. No, no that's, that's too much. So what do I want it at? I want it at... Shall we go three and a quarter? Let's see what that's like. Yeah, that's fine. So th <coughs> three and a quarter. And one and a half. So three and a quarter. One and a half. I wonder if I could do two at the same time. Uh, three and a quarter. About a quarter, you know. Yeah, I can. And one and a half. Let's just do two at a time, I think. I'm trying to do fours. Silly. So three and a half. We didn't say three and a half, did we? So three and a quarter. And one and a half. Did I do that? No. Okay. <clears throat> so three and a quarter. And one and a half. So they can be set over there for now. And those little bits that go with that. And that goes with that. So I'm going to start just folding these up. Um, I might trim them with a the trimmer. We'll see um, how straight they are. Sorry about Colin. That's not straight at all. It's better. I don't think they need trimming. Right, I am going to now ink around them and I'm going to do all down that side, all down that side, and do this inside bit. I'm not going to ink the back because these are supposed to. Um, down on a journal page. It was a bit awkward doing that inside bit. I don't think I'll do that on them. Then just around the flap and that's, that's that. So that's just to find it um, a little bit better too. So I'll do a couple more and then I'll pause and, and do the do the rest. So I'm using walnut stain just on the edges just to define it. Like so. 
my, I'm not going to attempt to round the corners with my rounder. <coughs> um, it doesn't tend to like vellum. And because I'm putting the paper frill on them, I don't really need it rounded anyway. And say so I do prefer the rounded edges, but um, when you've got a frill on, I don't think there's no need. Yep. and finish okay they're all inked up so I'm just going to now ink these uh, strips I'm not sure if I'll have to um, take any off the, the length or not I might just just try it in a second because it could waste time inking all the way if I don't need so I was going to do a ruffle need the, the whole thing wider than, than that. Let's, um, probably need to do bigger ones rather than things quite, quite close. Okay, I've got the right length that I want. Um, so I can just do them to that and I do need the whole whole length now I am going to sew um, these on the front of the envelopes But I'm also, I will also show you one um, not sewn, and then if you haven't got a machine, you can see how I would do it without a machine. Now, if I was only making one of these, I, I wouldn't use my machine. I'd just um, do it with with tape, because I think it'd be just waste time pulling the machine out. fine okay so I'm gonna well I'll do do another one and then I'll pause and get these done and then I'll show you a way to do it without machining but I just like uh, the look of machining I don't do it on on everything I mean all those tags and stuff I've made I've, I've not really machined um, then well, I do prefer certain elements um, machined. Hmm. So I made it any smaller. Okay, so I've got all those uh, folded, inked and folded. Um, so I'm going to do that no sew one first. <laughs> and I'm going to need probably some clips to to hold it in place. So I'm just going to glue that down and clip. Clear 
that down. Clip. Okay, that down. it and clip <laughs> and the last one and clip so we'll leave that like that a minute okay then we'll take his envelope and I'm going to use double sided tape and I'm just going to here like so and on this side like so and I'm just gonna get my bone folder just give it a good press down I'm going to peel this off, hopefully. I hate double sided tape, I really do. Okay. Whew. So you just peel that down. And then put that together. Let's move in folder again. And just rub that. So <clears throat> that says envelope stuck down. And then I'm going to get some wider double sided tape and I'm going to bring this across the, the middle. Don't know how wide it's going to be there, do I? So probably. I'd probably be best sticking it on the back of here. Thinking about it. <clears throat> that would probably be the sensiblest way. So I'm going to stick that on there. Like so. Just cut that little bit off. Do, do, do. Oh, honestly, I've got it. Okay, um, kind of center it ish up and place it down like so. I think that's like a non so version. all down that and then it <clears throat> it'll lay a lot flatter so that's that um i'm gonna pause i'm gonna get my sewing machine uh down and then we shall get these whisked up so all i'm going to do i think is so down down there down there and there because I'm then going to sew across um, there and I don't think we need 
so in there as well so yeah I'm gonna do all around there okay I don't think I'm threaded in <laughs> oh dear me Oh, let's hope I can thread it the first time. Yeah. Ooh. Is it still on? I'm gonna place <coughs> that. Oh, you can't see, can you? <laughs> um, I'm gonna place that on top of there, like so. And I'm just gonna run straight, straight through that. that I'll do one more and then I'll pause and do the rest off, off camera so that's that <laughs> do another finish them off and then I will see you back okay so that's those done I'm just going to put a couple of uh, cards in so these are some cards from uh, Studio on got on Glow, uh from Etsy so they go in there I'll just put two in each I think 
so it knocks those three. <laughs> all um, streaky and then well that one fair yep with that one so that's those that's those done so I think they'll fit in very nice with the pieces that we made um, last week so I'm just going to tidy my desk up and we will do um, the next one so these are the pieces what we've got so far. We've got this middle insert. We've got as <coughs> front of the book. We've got um, an expanding envelope. Uh, a side tuck flip and a window pocket. And then we've got a vellum envelope. So they're all lovely. So we're going to make a different kind of vellum envelope now. So let me pull in those and I'm going to want my mat. And I'm all folded out. So I'm going to use my stays on and I am going to oh, actually I'd be best to put them together because um, I only want to ink the front. So like I say, these are supposed to be um, stuck down in a journal. So you would have a pocket here and then uh, one behind. Gosh, that looks very out. Got all these ready. Okay, so <coughs> I've folded them all down. I've got my olive green stays on and my big uh, stamp from Hero Arts. Don't think I've got this on my Amazon favourites. I'll look it out and put it on. Um, so I'm going to cover this and hopefully get a decent print on the envelope. Hopefully I've covered everywhere. Okay. So I want to try and position it down there. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's fab. So, what do you think the second imprint will be like? Am I pushing it? Yeah, not bad. So, I can get two, two out of each one. Yep. Good at that. No, I don't know why I went so far to the left. Oh well. <clears throat> Maybe I can get that a bit um, in a minute. I wonder. 
yeah yeah I've got a bit of a imprint there as well as some dried glue right um let's put these there okay So I did experiment with a few different inks um, on vellum last year when I did the Woodland series and the stays on definitely uh, was was the best. It dried the quickest <coughs> uh, and it, well it dried, I mean some inks didn't even dry. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a good one for vellum. Two more. Oh, I'm glad I've not had to keep inking it up every every one. Okay. The last two. It's quite heavy. That's that one. So I'm not going to bother inking um, around the edges of, of these envelopes. You know, they don't, don't really need it. Oh, that's lovely. So, just going to pause just for a minute, just to give them <coughs> all a minute to, to dry. And why I pause, I'm just going to have a look on the Amazon um, list, check if it's there, and if it's not there, I'm going to put it on. Okay, I've added it onto my list. It is from America. I got mine uh, from America, but it was free postage. Um, I think it took about two weeks to to get here. So um, I think they're all all dry now. Um, I've put it in the part called ink, and I don't know if it's called ink and. inks etc that's what it's called right so i'm going to be sewing around these and i'm going to be putting some of this ribbon which you'll have seen me use um last week and i'm just going to put that across there and i could put it across there that's have a look and i was going to stick oh that's a bit too big actually so I might, might do it there. I do want to do it. I quite like that. So. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that and then I've that um just like that and yeah um how am I gonna do this I think I'll put it on with a little bit of glue um and then so round it. So okay. oh, let me get the bases of that. trim it off if it's too big
lots of that. <clears throat> and I think I'll use art glitter. Let's open, open it up. And shall I put it? I think I'll put it on there. No, I'm going to put it on here. So I'm just going to put a top there. Like that, I think that'll be sufficient. And place it there. Why don't you do it longer? It doesn't matter, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. Then I'm going to glue this over the top. Like so, and place that there. Okay, so that's one. stick or, or not or oh, I have to say okay I think it was only that one that was short short most of them have, have fit now if I wasn't um sewing these you could put this on with the um, double sided tape no problem I think this glue would would keep it um there I'm just making sure I've got plenty of glue around the sides of, of these. I'm just tipping that in just there. And I've got a big clip here and I'll just keep putting them in to try and squash that glue down. Hopefully they don't all stick together because that won't be good. And then I think I'll pause for five, ten minutes let it dry um, and then I'll sew, sew around them. Now on these ones I will sew um, across across there just for a little bit of decoration really. That's the other one I've got, I've got the frill on them. It, it didn't, didn't need um, an extra stitch them. Okay. On that. In that. And these little pictures are from uh, AliExpress and the ribbon is just Graceman ribbon and it's just from a, a random um, eBay shop and it was like um, I don't know what colour they called it it's like a, a sagey colour it's that Pinked around these already. And that's that one. Okay, so I'm going to pause and I shall be back shortly. Okay, so I'm going to sew around um, these. 
so I've put it on uh, a normal no a normal stitch and I'm just gonna sew around this little picture inside and then make sure my needle's up and I'm going to change it to a zigzag and I'm going to go I think I'm going to do this hmm. I'm going to go down and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sew them all round and then what I would do is then join this one on and go down all the way um, because I'm not bothered about sewing the bottom of this one and then I would go up the mall and then I'd go across the top and again I'd do that have I lost that? Okay, so, I, oh, what is up? I think it's this Gutterman thread. It um, it always seems to, to snap. I'm going to say I've actually changed my uh, thread, but um, I've run out. I can't actually see from... Right, I'm just going to pause because I can't get to the machine properly. Okay, so I would go all down the front. Bobbin's gone. <laughs> Would you credit it? Right, so yeah, my bobbin's gone. Um, so as you can see, I would go all the way down and then I would just uh, cut them apart. But I would do that, like I say, down all the sides, all the other side, and then the tops. But obviously, I do need to um, sew around the picture part first. So I'm going to get paused and I shall sew them all up and um, yeah really pretty okay they're all sewn up so we'll pop some uh, journal cards in again they're just a, a variety of what I've printed out botanical kits from a lot of different um, people So, yeah, love those. Cotton, 
absolutely everywhere. So again, if you're not sewing, you can use your double-sided uh, tape. Or you can go with glue, but I just feel like you probably need to um, just clip it until it dries uh, properly. Fabric tech normally does all right on it, but it can uh, warp it. So yeah, I avoid, avoid putting that on actually. And say art glitter's the best, but um, sometimes it can take a while to, to grab it. So that's those. Let's just keep one, one out. So this is what we've made so far. Okay, it's gonna be absolutely fab in a journal. So that's it. That's it for today. Um oh no, it's not. I'll be back later. <laughs> Um, and we'll be doing another envelope but um, it's going to be um, a, a standing up envelope which is going to be a, a flip as well so I shall see you later bye for now